Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and welcome back to Beginning C Sharp with Unity Screencast Series. In this episode, we'll review everything we've covered so far and then give you a sneak peek at what's coming next. So congratulations, you survived your introduction to object-oriented programming, and as you can see, it's really not that bad. In fact, it provides a natural way of thinking about code. Instead of viewing your code as a long sequence of instructions, you really start viewing it as an interaction between objects. Granted, that interaction can easily be converted into a long list of instructions, but that's a job for the computer, not you. We've started this section with an introduction to structs. A struct is just a type of object. It is what is known as a value type, which will be explained to you in depth in the very next episode. The struct is said to contain state and behavior, that is, instance variables and methods. These variables and methods are first declared with an access modifier. This determines who can use them. They are all defined in a namespace to prevent collisions with other objects. Next, you learned about methods and how to use methods to provide encapsulation. By hiding the internal state of an object and allowing access only through methods, you determine what the caller can do and how they can do it. Of course, writing methods for all the individual instance variables can get pretty tedious and thankfully, C Sharp addresses this with properties which automates the creation of these methods. It also gives you the liberty to modify them when needed. Finally, you learned about constructors that enable you to both create and initialize your objects at once. They also provide opportunities to assign default values to other fields. That was the beginning of object-oriented programming, and now we are moving into intermediate object-oriented programming. This is where you'll learn about the class object and some more abstract concepts. First, you'll learn about reference types with the introduction of the class object. Defining classes is a huge part of C Sharp, and in this episode, you'll learn about what a class object is and how it differs from structs. Next, you'll learn about inheritance and how classes can derive from other classes. Next, you'll learn how to override methods to specialize behavior in subclasses. After overriding, we dive into overloading as well as learn about other aspects of methods. From there, you'll learn about abstract classes and by extension, abstract methods. Next, we return back to constructors, except we analyze them through the lens of classes versus structs. Then you'll learn about the concept of interfaces and how they allow you to provide similar behavior to different object types. And we'll close this section by introducing you to the idea of polymorphism. This is a topic that ties everything in this section together as well as demonstrates the power of object-oriented programming. As you can see, there is a lot to cover in this section. So brew yourself a pot of coffee and set the phone to airplane mode. Well, that's the end of this overview. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.